What's up everybody, we're back here with another video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Daniel Silva, I'm a tattoo artist in Los Angeles, California. And I wanna thank every single one of you who has subscribed to my channel. We hit 100K in only a few months, so thank you guys so much for all the love. It's great to see my hard work really being appreciated. And I've been reading all your guys' comics, messaging back every single one of you. And for everyone who hasn't noticed so far, we actually post every single Wednesday. And if you want to keep updated, come back every Wednesday or go put that notification bell on, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. And soon we're gonna be posting a lot more than just these time-lapse vlogs. So definitely stick around for that. But if you guys have any ideas, go down and leave a comment because I can use the ideas. Kinda wanna do some reactions, kinda wanna do something, something, but Thank you for the support. And I just want to clear some stuff up that a lot of you have been asking, mostly about healed stuff or what technique am I using? Am I using a single needle three liner? Oh, single needle tattoos don't last. And there's always gonna be opinions about both sides of it. I personally only use a three liner. I don't use single needles. I find them to fade a lot faster than I would personally like. But there's some people that actually want their tattoo not to be that dark. So they wanna to go to the people with doing single needle tattoos or whatever it may be, and they like the way it heals. For me, personally, I think a faded tattoo looks like shit, so I'm not about that. All my tattoos are built to last. I make sure that the ink is in at the perfect depth. And to me, the technique I use with a three liner compared to a lot of people that do the mag shading, which is actually needles that are like, let's just say there's five on one row and like four on another row. And to me, that doesn't look as sharp as the tattoos I would want. To me with that three liner, the reason why I actually created that style is to me it gets into the crevices a little bit deeper and a little bit more concentrated than the mag would. So I have a lot more control with it and the motion that I can create with it. But not only that, I feel like it penetrates the different areas of skin a little bit more consistently. So the ink is a little bit deeper into the skin, which to me heals a little bit better. Um, there could be other tattoo artists that don't feel that way and that's totally fine. I support any way that works best for you as far as what you want the outcome to be. But thank you guys for listening. I just wanted to clear some of that stuff up. But if you do have any other questions as far as the technique that I'm using or anything like that, feel free to go and comment below. I'll do my best to answer it. But right now, we got some work to do, so let's get it.
So that tattoo had a lot of detail in it and obviously it's very difficult to make sure all that is gonna stay very consistently. It's why I just took my time, was very patient. It probably took around two hours or so. But we're not gonna wait to get healed videos to put on the back end of this video. We actually did for one of my favorite tattoos I've ever done. It was so difficult to wait that long. So if you wanna go to the link below, we actually put the video that we posted maybe like two videos ago and it's a tiger headdress and we waited six months to be able to get the client to send us a video from his iPhone so we can put it on the back of the video because a lot of people have been asking about how it's gonna heal and obviously it healed amazing. Let's just be real. It healed absolutely amazing. Um, so if you guys wanna see the healed videos of this one, go to my Instagram, give me a follow. If you guys like the tattoo, go down, leave a comment. But until then, see you next time.